Right, it is looking like a busy deadline date for Arsenal. Darmish Chef has the very latest for us. Darmish, first of all, tell us about any incomings. It's not just a busy deadline day. It's been a very, very busy transfer window full stop for Arsenal. And the latest potential arrival is Takahiro Tomiyasu from Bologna. Plays at right back, can play in central defence as well. The deal has been agreed between the two clubs. It's 23 million euros. Initial fee of 20 million euros plus 3 million euros in add-ons. It's at the medical stage. This one very likely to get done before the deadline. OK, what about outgoings? Hector Bellerin. <sighs> yeah, this is one we've been talking about throughout the summer. He was linked with Inter Milan. They couldn't do a deal. He was linked with Atletico Madrid. They couldn't do a deal. But he is now close to a loan move to Spain and Real Betis. 2023 is when Hector Bellerin's contract is up. So he's in the final two years of his Arsenal contract, but there was no will from Arsenal or from Hector Bellerin to extend. So there was real pressure to try and get a deal done, and it looks like it is going to happen. Hector Bellerin to Real Betis on loan, close. Right, I'm going to throw some more names at you. Rhys Nelson. Yep, this one is very close as well. Feyenoord, of course, were after Armand Diallo from Manchester United. Once he got injured, they pulled out of that deal. They moved quickly for Rhys Nelson. This one is now very, very close on loan. Arsenal will actually extend Reese Nelson's contract by a further year until 2023. So he'll go on loan to Feyenoord for this season. And when he comes back, if he performs well, he could still maintain his value, either reignite his Arsenal career or indeed Arsenal can get a good price for him. That one is at the medical stage. That one is close as well. OK, what about Eddie Inketia? Right, this is one that has been rumbling on for the entire summer as well. Crystal Palace and an unnamed German club both tried to do a deal with Arsenal for Reese Nelson. Both failed to do a deal for Reese Nelson. It means Reese Nelson, sorry, Eddie Nketiah at this stage is likely to stay at Arsenal beyond this transfer window. He is very relaxed about the situation, though, because he's entered the final year of his contract now, and he's three months away from effectively being able to sign a pre-contract agreement with a foreign club, or, failing that, wait until next summer, and then he'll have plenty more options. So, Eddie Nketiah likely to be staying unless there is a last-minute offer from another club. OK, one more to throw your way. Alex Renarsson. 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 Yep, he's only been at Arsenal, the goalkeeper, for less than a year, has Alex Renarsson. Hasn't had the best of times at Arsenal as the number two to Bernd Leno. He is now close to a loan move to the Belgian club, Oich Leuven. And it basically has come about simply because Arsenal went in for what they believe to be their long-term number one in Aaron Ramsdale from Sheffield United. And once that deal was completed, they were prepared to allow Alex Runnison to leave. And this one looks like it is close, a loan to OH Leuven. OK, Arsenal fans, I hope you're taking note of all of this. Mm. Uh, finally, for now, who else could leave the club? Because, of course, we know there's been one player who's put something out there on social media. And this is definitely one to keep an eye on for the remainder of deadline day, and that is Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Everton's interest remains... We reported that they'd had an offer put in to Arsenal for a loan with an option. Ainsley Maitland-Niles released that Instagram post yesterday where he simply said, I want to be somewhere where I am going to play football. At the moment, he is behind Cedric Suarez and Callum Chambers when it comes to Mikel Arteta's selections at right back. And now, if Tommy Yasu's deal goes through, he'll find himself even further down the pecking order in that position. And... He actually has got aspirations to get back into the England squad ahead of next year's World Cup. Now, remember, in the last transfer window, he moved on deadline day to West Bromwich Albion. That is why I'm just saying keep an eye on this one, because if a suitable offer was to come in, I think Arsenal would consider it. They would talk to Ainsley Maitland-Niles, and who knows, he could yet be on the move on deadline day. OK, Darmish, thank you very much for now.